The elements of the standard, we call them minimal requirements. And there are five major categories of the minimal requirements. There's uh, ergonomics or the physical attributes of the device. And that has to do with the, the size of the device and the weight of the device. Uh, also the, re the robustness of the device. Because these devices, you know, they're worn typically on offenders' legs. They're going to get knocked around a lot. They're going to get banged. And they may even be subject to some intentional abuse. And we think that these devices need to hold up under quite a bit of stress and, and abuse. So that's the robustness requirement. We'll have a number of elements under that. Uh, circumvention is another category. We have asked agencies and practitioners what are they seeing, what types of techniques are offenders using to try to circumvent the technology. We are asking agencies uh, to tell us what they are seeing in the field for, as far as circumvention techniques that are being used. And whenever possible, we are making a, uh, an attribute of our standard, a minimal requirement, to address these particular uh, circumvention techniques. So that the, not, not only are they subject, uh, not only are they able to withstand a lot of abuse and, and, and they are robust, but they aren't easy to take off or circumvent. It's very important that we have a lot of faith in the integrity of this equipment. Another is technical operations. These devices are going to be used in Fargo, North Dakota in the wintertime. They're going to be used in South Florida in the summertime. Uh, lots of different environments and they need to be able to provide reliable uh, location information in all of these environments. And we will be testing them in each of these environments. And finally, we have uh, software requirements. Uh, we have again asked agencies uh, and practitioners what they need in software and what kind of reports that they use on a daily basis. And we've found that uh, many, many agencies have the same requests and the manufacturers, to some extent, aren't responding to those requests. So when they are not uh, have the reports that are needed in the software, we're going to ask them to include them just so that the practitioners will have better tools at their disposal. We would like all manufacturers of electronic monitoring and tracking devices to comply with our standards, but it's voluntary. And we feel that uh, we will encourage many agencies to put that in their request for proposals to, to make sure that they are NIJ certified, but it's not required. And, uh, and many agencies may not want this requirement, and many manufacturers perhaps uh, will not feel it's necessary to comply with them. But we hope that they will comply.